There are two types of homes that I'm going to describe to you. One is when people live in a place and they see each other from time to time, sometimes only to say good morning, and they're busy living their very busy lives. And strangers from all over come to stay for a few days and then they leave. They might even meet in the corridor or the lobby or pass their way through the front of the house or apartment. Others live side by side without knowing one another. Others have no time for one another. And others just come to eat, shower, sleep, and then run out all over again. Another type of house is when people actually spend time together, spend time with one another, make time for each other, doing activities together, maybe just talking together and actually giving each other attention. It doesn't have to be a large family. It could be two or more people, but they're actually seeing the importance of each other and they're making a difference, a positive difference, a lasting difference in each other's lives. Too many people live their lives in the type of home that I described in the beginning, the first type of home. Sometimes we may seem like strangers to one another, not really knowing each other, not really spending quality time together. Thank God the Jewish people have Shabbat to truly remind ourselves that our families are truly of importance, that we must leave everything behind. Our Holy Shabbat reminds us that we must make time for one another because that is what truly is important and what truly matters. After 120 years when the person leaves this world and they have yard sites, they have get-togethers that the family remembers them and the family's talking about the person who has passed away. The family remembers when the person made time for them, spent time together, made them feel important and made a difference in their lives. That's what truly shines a person's character and personality and the goal is for each of and every one of us to live a purposeful life a life of purpose is the purpose of life is a life of purpose and that's truly what each of us are hopefully trying to strive for not to waste our time in this world the woman of the house has a unique responsibility and it's a compliment from Hashem our God, He entrusts us with this tremendous compliment and responsibility to take care of our families, to give them what they need, which is uh, time and attention. A big part of it is time and attention. And the woman has a bina yitera, which is an intuition, another, a sixth sense that men don't have, that is a gift from Hashem our God, in order for us to we each, each woman intrinsically knows what her family needs and has this help from Hashem in order to guide her in order to help her make the right choices in life to truly help her family make the right decisions choices in life and truly help her family not just survive but to truly live may we merit to have homes that are quality homes, warm homes where people spend time with one another, not just pass each other by like strangers. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. This thought was inspired by Rebbe Esther Greenberg of Blessed Memory.